Hello guys, this is your monthly for November. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What is this? Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. It's all about waiting, investing, try, trying to decide what to invest in or if you should um, continue to invest in something here. Taurus energy. I'm feeling like you guys have gotten um, comfortable, a little complacent in a situation, and you you have this energy of waiting to see if something's going to change, but I feel like you've been waiting for a while to see some change in a situation here. What's crossing my Virgos? Chariot. Two sevens here. Huh. You know, I feel like um, it's time for you to stop waiting. It's time for you to get up and go and do what's best for you. What's going to make you happy. Go get your happy. Because I think that for a lot of you, you're actually trying to see if what you are, what you have been dealing with, if that's going to be a situation that changes because you're really not comfortable trying something new but um, I think it's time for you to stand up because if you can see here you have the seven of Pentacles you see she's sitting there and she's watering and she's watering and she's watering and it's like she can't water it enough because it's not gonna grow any faster or it's not gonna grow any more now you see what's crossing you this horse is gone it's gone it's not being still is going after what it wants. So your challenge, I feel, is to go after what it is that you want. If what you want, you're not currently receiving where you are, it's time to make a change is the thing here. So change is, is what is needed in your situation in order for you to be successful and have what it is that you want. And this is in regards to one-on-one -on -one relationships, um, your familial relationships even. If somebody is constantly giving you lip, is constantly giving you grief, then and it's been going on for a while, then it may be time to kind of just like, you know, give up. Because you can't force someone to do something or you can't force situations, okay? You can only do what you can do. You can't control somebody else's movements. And that's just the bottom line. Um, you have Taurus and Cancer energy here. This energy of Cancer, this chariot energy, is exterior to you. This is a major. This is what you are actually doing. But the energy around you is trying to get you to get up and move, to be honest with you. Okay? That's what that is. Underlying issue here for my Virgos five of pentacles you guys do not want to be alone is what i'm getting here um you don't want to that's very sweet because i hear that some of you guys do not want to leave this person alone you don't want to leave them in a lurch um you don't want to hurt them you don't want to reject them at the same time, you don't want to put yourself in a place where you're actually taking chances either, is the thing. Uh, Taurus energy, again, here. <clears throat> my recent past for my Virgos. Strength energy, Leo. I feel like you guys are restraining yourself from leaving someone, actually. You're restraining yourself from leaving someone. There's something that's deep down inside of you that's telling you it's time to go. But you're keeping yourself from doing it. You're keeping yourself stagnant and still. Okay. Crowning thoughts for Virgos. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. You're holding on. You're holding on to the possibility. You're holding on to the investment that you've already made. You guys are holding on 
to the hope that things will change in your situation just by you staying and being persistent, I feel. Capricorn energy there. There's also a part of you that feels like if you do leave, even if even if your finances are troubled right now, you feel like if you left, they would be even more troubled or strained. What's coming in for Virgos? What's coming in for Virgos? The devil. Could definitely be a Capricorn for you guys. Um, but then I see the Queen of Wands under here, Leo energy. I feel like this is somebody that's angry, to be honest with you. I feel like this is someone that who you feel like you cannot get away from to save your life. Like you're bound to this person, you're chained to this person. Um, I feel there's a very codependent relationship going on between you and this person here. Very codependent. It may be... Uh, financially dependent as well um but i feel like there's there's something that keeps you guys drawn to each other something that both of you need in each other here <clears throat> how is virgo viewing themselves in this situation how's virgo viewing themselves in this situation queen of swords some of you already feel like you have one foot out like you're gone like you your body's presently there but your heart and your mind not so much you know i feel like you guys are already like you're already vacating even if your body even if you're still with this person um you feel disconnected on a certain level from this person <clears throat> you're in search of something else what you're really supposed to be doing who you're really supposed to be with hmm. what's influencing Virgos four of swords you're tired I feel like you guys have just given up the fight I feel like you know with this this situation this relationship a lot of hurt a lot of pain um, has come along with it and I feel like at this point you're almost feeling like there's nothing else this person can do to you that could hurt you or break you down um, because you've you've essentially checked out you've essentially checked out of this situation at the same time you're still holding on to like a glimmer of hope that things can turn around though Libra energy hopes or fears for Virgo the star you want healing <laughs> your hope is hope you know you're hopeful that things can turn around that this really is a person that you're supposed to be with and that they will show you that your hope is that this is your soulmate and that you're not wasting your time okay Aquarius energy there Overall outcome for my Virgos. Overall outcome for Virgos. Ten of Pentacles. That's your card there. I feel like, you know, if your finances are strained, I feel that they are definitely going to get better. Okay? You're working your way up to having that financial security, that stability. I feel that your relationship is one that is committed or you will have a relationship that is committed but I think for this to happen as far as the relationship is concerned you guys really um, need to not be so active let the other person take action okay and I see you doing that with the four of swords it's like you you've kind of just taken your hands off of it so there is definitely a potential for you guys to be um, in a committed relationship 
and remain in a committed relationship, I, I do see you, a lot of you, remaining in this situation with this person with um, a lack of emotion, to be honest with you. I see you, if you're working on your finances, if that's what your main focus is on, I see you guys definitely getting to a point where you're comfortable financially. Um, yeah, I, I see you guys holding on to this relationship and this person holding on to you because again, I see a, a, a strong codependent connection between you and this person. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.